Zun is better this time. He is using the tools that he already had in a smarter, more sophisticated way. Hey music friends, this is Davi Vask. I'm a music composer for games and today we're going to listen to and talk about reverse ideology from Impossible Spell Card. And Impossible Spell Card, from what I understand, is a Toho spin-off, right? So it's uh, another cool Toho track. So I'm excited. Let's go. And immediately, yeah, immediately sounds like Toho. Oh, nice. This sounds like a, like a solo guitar. Oh. The crazy pianos. Nice. I think this is the main part. Oh! A duet! A guitar duet, that was awesome. Okay, this is awesome. This is better than I expected, actually. My first guess about this is that this is probably a more recent game, right? In the Toho franchise, because this sounds to me better than the, the previous uh, Toho tracks that I've heard. And I know that Toho goes back to like the 90s. It started in the 90s or something like that. So some of these songs are pretty old. This feels uh, newer. It feels more, a bit more refined, a bit more sophisticated, both in terms of the composition as well as in terms of the musical production. I suspect there's an actual real live electric guitar here. I can't quite uh, identify if it's a sample, like a digital sample or an actually recorded electric guitar, but either way. I think this is real. This is a real guitar. And there's a duet here. Very good. So uh, this kind of stuff, I, I, I didn't think I would hear that kind of stuff here. And harmonically, composition wise, it sounds better to me as well. Uh, so far, the impression that I got from Zun, the, the composer, is that he's the kind of composer that is very good at one thing or a few things. And he does only those things and he, do and he does those things very well. So he keeps repeating things. The songs all sound kind of similar and he relies on a lot of the same stuff. If you've watched my Toho videos, you know about the Toho sequence, right? Which is a sequence, a harmonic sequence that he uses on all the songs. Here, I was expecting the Toho sequence to show up and it didn't. There's a very interesting harmonic uh, progression here that, like I said, sounds heroic and exciting, but it's something different. It's not the Toho sequence, and, and that's awesome. That's exciting. This is very cool. And like I said, it's not the Toho sequence. He's kind of using some of the same chords of the Toho sequence, but it's not the same order, it's not the same sequence, it's something new. And it's very cool to, to observe composers like this with, with very long careers. Like I said, from what I understand, Toho started in the 90s. So it's very interesting to see the, the timeline of the, the composer and see how the composer evolves his style. This seems to me like is a, is a, is a more recent episode of this composer's career. So cool, the duet of guitars. Oh, wow. This sounds dangerous. There's a lot of tension here. Very cool. Sounds kind of scary. Hold up! He, you, 
used it. He did the, the Toho sequence. Okay, so he used, he finally used the, the Toho sequence there, but he, he set it up in a very clever way. I'm gonna show you, but first, I wanna highlight the, the bass line in that kind of tense, scary part that came before. Very scary, right? So, this would have been a scary melody, even if it wasn't a bass line. In any kind of context, this would sound kind of tense and scary. Right? This note specifically here, right? This, there's the first note, second, and the third note. This note specifically doesn't actually belong in this key. It's like an, a wrong note to put here. It's a very, very disturbing note. So yeah, very cool bass line. It sounds scary and it adds a lot to the, to the kind of tense atmosphere of this part. But also, like I said, he used the Toho sequence and he did it in a, in a very cool way. At this point, like I said, I suspect this is a more recent track. So at this point, the composer kind of knows what people expect from Toho tracks. So he knows people expect the Toho sequence. So he's not outright doing it. He's kind of dancing around it. He's suggesting it. Uh, he's building towards it. And when he finally does it, it feels super special. I'm going to show you. You see what he's doing? He's kind of dancing around the, the Toho sequence. He did it twice here. So first he did... This is almost the Toho sequence. If you guys remember, the, the Toho sequence is this, right? These three chords, sometimes he, he goes up, up like this, sometimes he goes down. But this is basically the Toho sequence. What he did here, he did the exact two first chords of the Toho sequence, and then he faked us out. He did another chord. And in fact, he did a very disturbing chord here again that doesn't belong here. So it really feels surprising, it feels like a fake out. And it's, you know, it's a surprise, it's something new. Something new and disturbing. And then the next chords that he, that he does are these. Again, he's hinting, he's dancing around the Toho sequence. Oh. The Toho sequence is gonna come, it's gonna come, and then he goes here. And this sequence is so pleasant. At the same time that it feels kind of like a fake out, it feels disappointing that it's not the full, uh, the full Toho sequence, it feels so pleasant and satisfying. Such a satisfying triumphant sequence, but then... Toho sequence. So he dances around for a long time. He builds up towards it. And when it comes, it feels so, so special. That's what, I, what I'm talking about when I, I, I say that this feels like Zune evolved. Zune is better this time. He is using the tools that he already had in a smarter, more sophisticated way. Toho sequence. So triumphant. Oh, the drums are super fast now. Again, the whole sequence. Oh! He changed. He raised the key there. Oh man. This is so hype. Oh god, this has to be my favorite Toho track so far. This track was suggested on Patreon by Krad Nosnatev. Hooray Krad Nosnatev and hey, I have more videos on Toho music over here. I'm always happy to share with you guys the music from the games that we love, including the Toho games that we love. So if you're into that, you're in luck because that's what this channel is all about. So remember, whenever you're ready to spread your wings and go on a music journey again, I'll see you there.